Hello YouTube and welcome to your sixth Java tutorial and in this tutorial I will be teaching you more about the math class in Java and now basically what that is is it's um, a class that's built into Java and has a bunch of different math things that you can use now I could have done this earlier uh, voice crack right there I could have done this earlier in the math tutorials but um, that might that might have been a little confusing for most of you and it still might be a little confusing for both for most of you but um i'm going to go ahead and teach you the lesson and then going there's going to be a slideshow that i will put up for download um it's not mine i found it online and um i don't take credit for it at all but i'm just going to use it to teach you a couple things in java now this is only temporary i'm going to be using the slideshow for a couple tutorials cuz it has a bunch of neat stuff in there but after that um I'll go back to the normal way of teaching you. So go ahead and um, let me know in the comments down below if you like this kind of teaching, if it's easier for you to understand, um, or if you want me to just do the regular coding. So um, let's go ahead and get started. Now, inside Java, there is um, built-in math. Um, there's a built-in math class with a bunch of methods that will do different math um, like calculations for you that so you don't have to make your own methods for it and it's already built in so um, the first one that we're going to be talking about is um, math dot square root so it gives you the square root now I can see here I know some of you will probably notice this and comment down below um, it says string args with the brackets after the args uh, it works if you do string brackets and then args but um, it also works if you use the brackets after the args I always use it uh, after the strings because of habit but it doesn't matter whichever way you want to do it it'll work so um it starts off with a simple print line statement which is just going to show the um, the class name and you can see here we created an integer called num1 or n1 for number one and we set it equal to 625 and then we created a double which is a decimal number um, number two and we set it equal to 6.25 so now what we're going to do is we're going to do system.out.println and we did square root of and then plus. So basically what the plus does, crap, uh, basically what the plus does, um, if I haven't already taught you guys this, you can type an absolute string, which is uh, an example of an absolute string. It's square root of, which means it's not stored in a variable and it's just used there and then it's discarded. But you can type that and then if you just add a plus, you can display a variable, you can display another string. Um, anything you want you can even call methods in there so um, square root of num1 so it's gonna say square root of and then it's gonna say 625 and it's gonna have a colon and then if you add math dot square root n1 and you put the n1 inside of the parentheses uh, which are called parameters and the n1 is called an argument inside the parameters so what it basically does is it goes to the math class, finds the square root method, and then put uses n1, and then goes through that method uh, using the variable n1 in place of what's already in there, which there isn't a value set in there. So um, system dot square root of 625, and it's just going to show you the square root of 625, and then we're going to do that again to number two, um, which will be a double. And then it has system.out.println to create a new line. But what you can do instead of that is um, inside of your quotes, type backslash n um, like this, and it'll just go down to the next line. I don't know why they put that in there. But then once you do that, it should come up like this. Now, you may not be running it in your command prompt, but inside of your console, it should say, um, square root of 625 and it's 25 and the square root of 6.25 is 2.5 okay so now we're gonna go to the class method syntax now math is the class identifier which I already told you and it's inside that class there's a bunch of methods that you call and um, the dot just basically separates the class from the method um, and then you have got square root which is the method identifier and then num1 is the argument or parameter passed into the method. So you're taking that integer, you're passing it into the method, and the method is using that in place of the number that's um, default inside the method. So here is a 
another square root program. Uh, let's see. This just shows what you can do. So you can create all these variables right here now. Um, I haven't taught you this before, and I'll probably go in more in depth into it later. But you can see it says double n1 comma n2 n3 n4. So what this does is it creates four different double variable types, and you don't have to type a new line for each one. And then down here it sets n1 equal to math out square root 1024. So um, you can put a number inside of your square root uh, parameters, and um, for number for n2 it's math dot square root n1 you can also put variables inside of your parameters but if that variable is a string or a character or a boolean or anything of that sort it's not going to work and you're going to get an error and for n3 right here it says math dot square root n1 plus n2 now you can also add um, you can add numbers inside of your parameters you can add variables inside of your parameters the possibilities are almost endless you can also call the method again inside of your parameters. So math dot square root, math dot square root two fifty six. So basically, what this does is um, it's going to start off the inside of this, and um, it's going to take the square root of two hundred fifty six, which is um, I don't know. Hold on, let me look it up. It is sixteen, and it's going to take the square root of sixteen. So um, this right here is going to equal to 16, and it's going to do it again, and the square root of 16 is 4. And um, you can see it's going to print out this. It's going to print all these out on the screen. And if you do this on your computer right now, um, you should get answers like this. So um, the square root of 1024 is 32. The square root of 32 is 5.6568, and then just keeps going. Uh, um, and the square root of of 32 plus 5 is 6.136 and then the square root of the square root of 256 is 4 so um, those are just other things that you can do with the um, square root function well not function square root method my bad and um, we'll go through one more thing in this tutorial before I finish it um, you can also round numbers using the math class now you can see here we got a nice big program but it's not going to do much um, and it starts off with math.floor so basically what math.floor does is it'll take your double and it'll round it down so even if you have 5.999 it's going to round that down to 5 and um, if you have 5.001 it's going to round that down to 5 so no matter what you put in there it's going to round it down um, and ma with math.seal if you haven't guessed already for sealing um, it's going to round it up so if you have 5.001 it's going to round that all the way up to 6 um, and you'll find this useful later on once you're making more programs you'll be like oh I remember I learned this here's something I can use it for and then you can just do the plain math.round which um, will round the number the way that you were taught in your math class so if it's 5.5 .5, it's going to go ahead and round it up and if it's 5.499 it'll round it down and so like from 5.5 .5 to 5.999 it's going to round that up and 5.499 all the way down to 5.001 it's going to round that down so if you do this on your computer right now then you should get results like this it'll be all five all six and then five six six five now um well oh, don't want to see that yet but um so go ahead look at this you're gonna have to practice this a lot for it to get to stick in your head I know you're probably like oh I'm gonna remember this but you're gonna forget it later on because we're not gonna be using that very much but once you need it you're gonna be glad that you remembered it so go ahead go back to the video um, look at all this practice it a bit and then go on to the next tutorial so don't forget to comment like and subscribe